Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Just got finished watching this Lakers Clippers game where the Lakers lose again and we clinch our 62nd loss of the year, marking our worst season in franchise history. Now, I was just arguing with somebody on Twitter about who's to blame on this. There's a lot of people to blame for having the Lakers having the worst record in Laker history. Now, that's huge, right? I'm going to go on a record and say this. I'm arguing Kobe Bryant's at the top of that list. Now, there's a lot of people to blame. I was arguing with someone because he was saying Kobe's not even to blame. Well, I'll get to that in a second. We could blame Jim Buss. We can blame Byron, Byron Scott because he's a head coach. We can blame Kobe Bryant, right? Because he's one of the main guys on the team. The buck stops we know, on what Kobe Bryant says. You can also even blame Magic Johnson. Why? Because Magic Johnson pressured the Lakers, Mitch Kupchak and Jim Buss through the media, through interviews, everything on pressuring him to hire Byron Scott. When Byron Scott was hired, he was at the press conference with, with, um, with Kareem and all that stuff. And Byron Scott's been one of the worst coaches in NBA history. And he has not said a peep out of it. And when he was destroying, he was simply destroying Mike D'Antoni when Mike D'Antoni was here. Now, on top of that, I don't believe Mitch Kupchak ever wanted to hire Byron Scott. If you remember, when they were hiring Byron Scott, they took three months to hire Byron Scott, three separate interviews uh, with Byron Scott, which was unprecedented. You actually have one interview and maybe a second one, and then you make a decision. They waited three months before they hired Byron Scott. That tells me that they were waiting for other people, and then they were eventually pressured into hiring him. So Magic Johnson gets the blame at the top. But listen, listen here's what I'm saying. I blame Kobe Bryant. Somebody is saying that you can't blame Kobe Bryant because he didn't play last year and we had the worst season last year, but no, you can't, there's many different variables. We didn't have D'Angelo Russell, who was clearly showing superstar potential this year. We didn't have a, we didn't have um, Julius Randle last year, right? When he got injured, he was out all year. This year, he's balling. He's a double-double guy, averaging, you know, putting up 20 rebounds here and there, or close to it, he did tonight. Um, we didn't have a second year in Jordan Clarkson, right? Jordan Clarkson was in his rookie year, just kind of feeling things out. When we started this year, Mitch Kupchak even said, based on what we have on paper with the healthy, healthy, healthy Kobe Bryant, we should make the, the playoffs. He was thinking we're like a 40-win team, you know, 38-40 win team. And so with all that said, now you add in, now, you, now let's, let's talk about this year. Kobe Bryant, Skip Bailey's actually talking about this on first take today. He's last in field goal percentage at 35%. Out of all the possible and eligible players to make that list, he's dead last out of like 120, 140 players. He's dead last in three-point percentage at 28%. Historically, those are atrocious numbers, okay? Those are players don't even earn in the NBA you're shooting at that rate. Um, he's dead last in three-point percentage. He's, t he's missed the most shots, most three-pointers in the NBA from all the people who are eligible. And so you combine that with his play. When he's on the court, he's not playing any defense. He's not moving the ball. He's not developing our young guys. It's all about him posting up 32 feet from 32 feet out, taking pump fakes, getting blocked, or, or hit, shooting a brick. So he's not moving the ball. He's not developing our youth. He's not running the offense that Byron Scott implemented and wanted to implement when we were playing well, when we were moving the ball and things like that. So a lot of it falls on Kobe Bryant's shoulders. And yes, Byron Scott, put Byron Scott at the top of that list, but Kobe Bryant's right there and Jeb Buss is right there. You cannot tell me no matter Sports Center actually showed a clip, a picture of Robert Sacre, and they, they announced, or you could see the tweet, Lakers, 60-second loss, worse in Laker history, whatever. Robert Sacre had nothing to do with it. He's played all of five minutes this year. No, put Kobe Bryant's picture on there, put Byron Scott's picture on there, put Jim Buss' picture, and throw in Magic Johnson's picture on there. Those are the guys who are responsible, not our rookies. Our rookies are balling out. 
Our Richter's playing well. I put it on those four guys. Okay, don't put it on Robert Sacre. He had nothing to do with it. He barely played. All he was doing was sitting on the bench as a, as a 12th man and cheering our team on all year. Okay, so don't put, don't blame it on Robert Sacre. Don't blame it on Ryan Kelly. Don't blame it on those guys. Blame it on the major players, Kobe, Byron, Jim Buss, and Magic. That's my thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And follow me on Twitter at Mike Sports LA. I'm always ready to debate anybody. Bring it.